Jonas Chernick. I'm the lead actor, writer, and producer of My Awkward Sexual Adventure, screening here at Whistler in the Borsos competition. I'm also an actor and the story editor of Blood Pressure, which is also screening here in the Borsos competition. <laughs> Will you marry me? I can't spend the rest of my life having sex with just you. Jordan Abrams, please report to the gate. I'm waiting for someone. She's not coming. Dear Nicole, you don't know me, but I know you. I know that the day after tomorrow you turn 41. I know you're a good person, frustrated by the limits of your life. I'm Sean Garrity, director of uh, My Awkward Sexual Adventure. And I'm also the director, uh, producer, coffee runner uh, on Blood Pressure. Essentially, I, I look at it as a, a coming of age story, uh, a guy kind of figuring out who he is. Uh, sort of later than he, than most of us do. I think it's kind of a, a, um, a delayed coming of age story, and, and uh, also just a, a really um, honest look at male sexuality and sexual insecurity. It's something that we haven't seen, I don't think, before. It was very important to me that there be a vulnerability and, and, and then, um, a kind of rawness to the characters and the emotion. Well, Sean and I have done a number of movies together over the years, and each one, yeah, the collaboration is, diff is slightly different. But generally, it's, I mean, he, he writes these, these great scripts, and then I pervert and poison them, turn them upside down, <laughs> uh, sort of to get my own point across. Because Jonas is, is the actor, I mean, when Jonas is writing, mm -hmm. he's very much the writer. But of course, as the director, when I read this stuff, I think to myself, okay, this character does this. When I'm on the set with the actor, the actor's gonna ask me, why am I doing this? And I don't see the answer in the script. And the irony, of course, in this case, is that the actor is Jonas. <laughs> and so I would say to them, all right, dude, take off your writer hat for a second and just imagine that you're the actor in this scene and like ask yourself why. And then he sort of, he's like, of course. He like, hangs up the phone and he's no longer there and he's gone off to write something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, I mean, he's a fantastic director. I'm thrilled. I, I really love this movie. I think it's pretty special and for it to be in competition at Whistler is it's amazing. Actually the director has another film that he, that he directed that's also in competition so it's kind of competing against himself. It means we're definitely going to lose yeah. at least one. One of the films definitely loses Guaranteed. in that competition. That yeah. sucks man. It's so encouraging to have this festival sort of recognize them both. The one film is a very commercial, very funny uh, film and the other film is I think it's it it goes a little deeper and it's a little darker more and challenging it's more, it's more provocative yeah. Paul Gratton the festival director this is his first year I think it was a very bold controversial choice he only has eight slots for Borsos competition films there are more than eight good Canadian films out there that would like to have those slots it, it's actually it's, it's an amazing kind of vote of confidence and it's very encouraging and we're, we're very honored by that. This is an enormous uh, mm -hmm. piece of it. It's an incredible recognition for us. We're mm -hmm. thrilled.